RLWF fans, it is time for another RLWF Mayhem. And coming out first in singles competition, Carlito the Mouth Munoz. And true to form, he has a backstage and uh, on social media has been uh, calling out the Mayhem Tag Team Champions, Los Conquistadores. And uh, again, the cartel have beaten them twice in non-title matches and they are eager to get a title shot. And uh, Munoz is going to be on them non-stop until they grant it. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the but tonight, word, instead of a title match, he is in singles competition. And we will see how he fares. Obviously, he has been doing very, very well as a member of the cartel with his tag team partner, Noah. Oh, yeah, I am pumped But he guy. is up for a challenge tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and his opponent, because he is going to be facing Takuma. Of course, we saw Takuma at the front of the line PLE on the weekend as part of the front of the line matches. Was not, uh, performed very well, but was not victorious in his match. And so back to the drawing board, of course, those cases won by Elijah George and Evelyn Precious. So two champions on opposing brands have a little bit of insurance with the cases now. Takuma. The fires lit behind him just slowly, menacingly, making his way to the ring. Again, I do not... I, I gotta say, I, I don't... Uh, I don't envy Carlito Munoz. This is not the kind of guy that you want to be squaring off against inside of a ring. I mean, no, listen, no, no offense to Carlito. We all know that Carlito is a great, great superstar. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, just look at him. I don't want to face him. I don't want to face that guy. That's why I'm up in the booth and I only make maybe once a year appearances where I'm eliminated quickly for Royal Rumble. That's, that's, that's my wrestling experience. All right, but Takuma... I'm not going to tell you that face-to-face, -face, but your intro is too long. Let me start the prediction, and you can let me know who you think is going to come out on top. Again, if this is your first time joining us here in the RLWF, and you'd like to have your very own superstar right there in the ring, I mean, maybe not with Takuma, but at least in the ring, all you got to do is swing by the Twitch channel, drop a sub, including an Amazon Prime sub. That's just as good. I'll take Jeff Bezos' money any day, no problem. Or hang out for a little bit, and once you've got 5,000 channel points, cash those in. And that's all she wrote. That's all you need. In the meantime, Takuma is taking Carlito to task. Oh, and that buys some time. Missed on the, uh, tried to shove him, I think, there. I'm not sure what he's saying. He manages to escape it. Well, listen, I mean, Gunslinger, you want to get on that, uh, you want to get on that TPV grind set? I mean, I can't say it's been hugely successful. I've been doing well in season three, but uh, I've been blowing all my big chances. So what are you gonna do? And boom, oh my goodness, just launched, launched into the turnbuckle. Over the top rope, oh my goodness. You would not expect a man that big to fly, but that's exactly what he did. And Carlito Munoz. He's is absolutely the getting the stuffing kicked out of him here. Jawbreaker reverse on a big knee. He's trying to get something going here. How do you people not know what TPD stands for? Training, prayers, vitamins. The three keys, baby, to the grind set. Oh, he's heading back to the ring. Showing him what a real alpha now, looks like. I mean, if you want to take that kind of advice, training prayers and vitamins from someone who is uh, an atheist who never exercises and uh, literally ate his way into diabetes without having any vitamins, I mean, listen, your mileage may vary on that advice. I'm just saying.
Takuma taking his time getting back in there, and oh, worth the wait. Head over heels with that clothesline, locks up. And Carlito sent into the rope, and oh, vicious kick. Listen, Jocko, I am not describing you. I was describing myself, but uh, get your blood sugar checked next time you go to the doctor. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm putting out there. <laughs> Carlito now coming back with a nice combination. Has him backed into the corner. Carlito is taller than I expected. Now that I'm seeing him side by side by side with Takuma. You always kind of assume that the, uh, the agile guys certainly seems that tensions are rising or smaller but uh listen some uh, some decent height on him there Oof. takuma just no sold oh no sold the kick to the face from munoz and then munoz staggers to his uh, feet oh no takuma from the top rope Oh my goodness. Where is Noah to throw in the towel for his partner here? This is getting dangerous. Drop the leg. And reversed by Takuma. Sends him flying. And oh my goodness, the vicious suplex onto the concrete, a six count. There's the seven, Takuma rolls in. And Munoz heads back in and immediately gets hammered again by that clothesline. And springboard, oh, Carlito able to get out of the way, but. Again, I mean, seeing that kind of agility from a man that size, it is, it makes him even more terrifying. Has him up in the torture rack. And that could very well spell the end for Munoz. Managed to kick out somehow. And now, blows to the ribs into the suplex. Irish whip and the big boot. I mean, you gotta think it's only a matter of time for Carlito Munoz at this point. Oh no, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. F10. The mouth is closed. Oh my goodness, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. How on earth? And again, over the top rope. What an opening match, ladies and gentlemen. We are picking up right where the PLE left off. Munoz has got to get something going. It is an absolute miracle that he has not been pinned yet. He is not going to last much longer. Carlito still fighting back. The fans loving it. They love an underdog story. Takuma... Sent to the opposite corner. Kick to the midsection. And Carlito. Oh my goodness! Canadian destroyer onto the concrete. Almost a count out here, so he is going to toss him into the ring. He wants to get the victory the old fashioned way. And Carlito. Unbelievable going top rope. Dangerous from this height, and uh oh, uh -oh. Takuma got out of the way, playing possum, and oh no, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, another F10. Not even Carlito is getting up from this one, and the loss for Carlito. He's a little dejected in the ring. Oh, wait, the lights are out. That's Zeke. What is Zeke doing in there with Carlito? Grabs him by the neck and plants him. Right in the middle of the ring. Where did this come from?
All right, a triple threat match coming up next. The following coming out first, the KO Queen, Sonya Gray, former women's champion, Charleston. making her way to the ring. I'm still in shock from that last match. I am still trying to figure out why on earth Zeke from the Brotherhood is attacking Carlito. As far as I am aware, Zeke and Carlito have never had any beef. Just seems like a random bit of violence that uh, I'm uh, not sure what happened. I know when they took him back, I know the doctors are taking a look at Carlito, so we'll have to keep you posted uh, as I get uh, information as to his status. But uh, we will have to wait and see. Again, you never know what to expect here on the RLWF, ladies and gentlemen. And out next, and her opponents. First, it is Amber Leon, the A to the L, the boss of bosses, the only person with a custom Tron because I have not done the rest of them. <laughs> Amber Leon, again, another former women's champion, two-time former women's champion, Amber Leon. Been a while since either of these ladies have had a belt around their waist. And both would love the opportunity. But as always, and as usual, Marcelo Drossi, the current champion, making it next to impossible for anyone to reach that top tier. <laughs> you is in the chat, Mr. Restraining Order. Listen, the restraining order expired at the end of season two. All right? Unless you've been doing anything, or unless the other you, there's two you's now, if, if, as long as both of you are on your best behavior. We should be okay. We should be okay. And last but not least, representing the Brotherhood, it is Silencio. The Spanish assassin Silencio making her way to the ring. And Zeke, we are working on Tron's. We are getting the Tron's too. It's uh, with the PLE. I didn't have much time. I've got um, I've got some time off coming in about a week or two. Uh, probably less than about a week or so. I've got some time off, so that'll be when I'm really gonna kind of plow through and try and get these Tron's and intros and all the rest of that stuff. But I mean, I've said that before, and I've been lazy and haven't done it. So don't hold me to it. That's what I'm trying to say. I will try. Silencio getting a loud boo. Of course, Silencio, a former front of the line case holder herself, was unsuccessful in her attempt back in season two. A major match ahead of her. She plans on proving exactly what. All right, triple threat. No conditions, just good old fashioned wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to come out on top. But of course, the prediction got screwed up, so bear with me as I retype it all in. A little one on one action here. A triple threat is possibly one of the most challenging matches a superstar. No one doing any pool until I'm no looking. Rules, no friends. That's and the rule. A triple threat match makes enemies of everyone. There is the prediction. Match, the best way to ensure victory here is to adapt to every moment. Uh, you, I mean, you've, he's, all you said was Amberly was pretty and you'd like to be with her. Uh, I think there's a police report that might say something different, but listen, we can't get into that for uh, legal reasons. The lawyers would have my head, but I think there might be a little more to it than that. But listen, that was the you of old. That was the you of old. Now you're not, you're not, not only are you a different you than season three, you're two different youths in season three. That's how much you've changed, sir. Amber Leon back in the ring. Sonya gets a little distance with some elbows to the rib, and now Amber Leon with the pump handle suplex on Silencio. And Sonya sends her into the corner, but locks up with Silencio. <laughs> you can't win, you. Stream Labs never lies. 
And Silencio fighting here against Sonya. Drops her to the mat and now goes after Amber Leon. Side Russian legs. She's enduring some damage. And Silencio tossed all the way to the outside. Sonya Gray's going right after her. Out of the ring. What's next? Oh, a little disrespect to the Spanish assassin. And now all three at ringside and a little airplane spin from Amber Leon. Sonya Gray uh, waiting for an opportunity and there it is. But Amber got to her first. Silencio with a Hurricane Rana taking out everybody here at ringside. No count outs, no disqualifications in this match. Silencio tossed in. Sonya dodges the knee. And oh, Silencio dives and misses them both. And now, double underhook, with the backbreaker. And Sonya tosses her right back into the ring. <laughs> Saw that one coming. And face first, and then wraps those legs with a submission. But Amber Leon there to break it up before Sonya has an opportunity to tap. Referee knocked out accidentally there as Amber was coming in to break up the submission. Referee is down. And now Amber trying for the neck breaker, but reversed by Sonya. Meanwhile, here comes a kendo stick. Compliments of Silencio. No clear winner thus far in this match. Everyone putting on a good... Oh, my goodness. Yokozuna Cutter. From Silencio, or sorry, from Sonya Gray, rather. Silencio tossing Gray out of the ring and trying to steal her pin on Amber Leon. She gets the show. Oh. Two and a half, a classic Silencio maneuver. Does whatever it takes to win. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. And Silencio headfirst into the turnbuckle. Here comes... Sonya Gray locks in the sleeper. Locks in the sleeper hold on Amber. She is fading, but a quick elbow manages to get her out of that. Silencio comes out of the corner swinging. There's the suplex. She's got the kendo stick back again, and oh my goodness, there's a wake-up call for Amber Leon. Sonya back in the ring, and Amber, oh! Drops her immediately with a manhandle slam. And oh, two and a half. Amber almost had it. Silencio out of the ring, unable to uh, prevent the pin. Irish whip by Amber. Nice arm drag. Flying forearm at Sonya Gray. Of course, the KO queen always one punch away from victory, so... Always have to be careful. Oh my goodness, what a drop kick. Reversal from Amber. And now Amber with the neck breaker. Irish whip by Sonya and the low drop kick right on a knee. Is this finally enough to put away Amber Leon? It is not. What an aggressive kick. From Amber. Oof. There was that devastating Superman punch from Sonya. Didn't connect, but now locks in the sleeper. Amber back in, but Silencio already breaking out of that maneuver. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not reversed it into a pin. Set into the corner. Counter from Silencio. She grabs Amber Leon, has her up into the turnbuckle and then tossed to the logo. Nice dodge there from 
Gray. Silencio head first into the turnbuckle, turns her attentions to Amber Leon, and oh, eat defeat. And a stomp to the shoulder. The KO Queen taking on everybody right now using that punching power. And Silencio taking a beating. Oh, my vicious. Silencio just trapped in that corner at the mercy of Sonya Gray, and now she's going middle rope. Oh my goodness, Dragon Sleeper in the corner. Finally lets her go, goes to the pin, but here comes Amber Leon. And Amber once again, the ref takes a bump, he rolls out of the ring. That's the second ref bump from Amber. She's gotta be a little more careful, I think, here. Exploder suplex into the corner. Referee still down and out. And back in the ring we go. Silencio back in. I don't think Amber spotted her. She has not. And now getting attacked from both sides. But here comes Amber with a manhandle slam. Referee back in the ring. And there's the Superman punch. I think it grazed both of them. And now the submission again locked in by Silencio. But Amber right there. What a match, unbelievable. Reversal from Silencio. You gotta think the end is near sometime here soon. Silencio, oh my goodness. Devastating maneuver, Amber's gonna roll out. Silencio's gonna roll out. Silencio has a baseball bat and she's going after Amber Leon. And right on the noggin. Dodges Sonya Gray, who is sneaking up from behind. Silencio hurls her into the barricade, but a flying tackle from Amber puts Silencio down. Amber tossed aside. Oh, running bulldog onto the concrete from Silencio. The WWE Universe will be superstars on. And here comes Amber. Amber and Sonya have had enough, and they are going to team up for the double suplex. But Sonya Gray right back after Amber tosses her into the ring, tosses Silencio into the corner. And Amber putting on a little show there. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Driven down. Small package driver from Amber, or no, Fisherman's driver, I think, actually. And now gets tossed into the ring. Amber and Silencio tossed back in the ring. Sonya is going to join them. No count outs, but any submissions or pinfalls have to happen inside the ring. Amber tossed hard into the corner and, oh, missed on the knee. Silencio didn't miss on that drop kick. Amber rolls out and Silencio Oof, with the jawbreaker on Sonya. Sonya crawls to the corner. Here comes Silencio with a big elbow. But Amber Leon locks in the armbar. Is she going to make Silencio tap? No, Silencio escapes. Amber tossed into the corner. There's that Superman punch out of nowhere. And that might be it. Like I said, they do not call her the KO Queen for nothing, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. At any moment, Sonya Gray can end a match with only one punch. And once again, a victorious Sonya Gray. Yuve already in the ring, and he is finally going to be facing Prince Yu. We have been waiting for this bout between... Now, what is going on here? Mr. Clean is not supposed to be a part of this match. He is leading 
Prince Yuve to the ring. Again, we have been waiting for the Yuve versus Yuve match. We still have no idea which is the which is the actual Yuve. Yuve is... They're consulting with the referee. And Mr. Clean has been subbed in for Prince Yuve. I don't know if Prince Yuve made a donation to the RLWF somewhere. I didn't see any of it. The situation may have changed, but the game plan is still Unbelievable. This match was supposed to be between the two Yuves. And Prince Yuve has managed to weasel out of it. And Mr. Clean in here as the replacement. Let me start the prediction here. Now it's Yuve versus Clean is the prediction. Of course, Mr. Clean and Yuve. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Both Yuves, actually, and Mr. Clean tangled up in that whole mess with Willie Wheeler. Not the position you want to be in right now. At the no vacancy PLE. So some history there. And Mr. Clean power bombs him out of the ring. And now Prince Yu tosses you back into the ring as Mr. Clean gloats to the crowd. They lock up and you tossed out to ringside again. Clean coming out after him this time. This outside. This could be good. Again, we are still no closer. Well, okay, I won't say no closer. There is a lot of work being done by the research team in the background trying to find out what the deal is. Why we have two youths. Which is the correct youth? What's, what's been going on? What's, what's the deal here? Neither one of them will comment still. But we were at least hoping they could... Uh, obviously, there is bad blood between them. And we were hoping that that would get resolved here tonight. But apparently, Prince Yu had other ideas. And you is going to have to wait for any kind of in-ring resolution he was hoping for. Clean sends you headfirst into the turnbuckles, but there's the counter. Fighting back has him way up over his head. This is ridiculous. Into the power slam, the strength of you. What a counter! Counter from Clean. I mean, listen, two incredible superstars, still a great match, but I think the fans were all hoping to see some kind of a showdown between the two youths. But they are going to have to continue to wait. And Prince Yu tossing a kendo stick into the ring as the referee was trying to remove it, accidentally took a bump. Absolute chaos in here right now. And you, oh, slams him into the turnbuckles and then over the head into the belly to belly. And now, Yuve and Prince Yuve having some words distracted. And of course, Mr. Clean is going to take advantage of that. And Yuve getting a close look for this pin, but did not get the three counts. And a big time knee drop. Clean has you on his feet. And he sends him into sent the into the turnbuckles. The, the, the fans the booing loudly. There's the reversal from you. But Mr. Clean right back to work. No, I stand corrected. You fighting him off again. There's the clothesline. Dodges one from Mr. Clean up and over for the back body drop. And you've not finished. He says bring it on and bring it on he does. With a big spine buster. You dropping the elbow. Look at that. Did you see that? Prince Yu made a reach for Yu's leg trying to interfere. Mr. Clean hits the inverted DDT. Only got the two. Only got the two. And now, boom, again. Amazing execution. Once again, Mr. Clean, that could very well be it for you. No, you fighting on. Clean complaining about the count, but I think it was a fair count. You just got that shoulder up. Crowd chanting fight forever, but I don't know much how much longer you can keep going. We know he's an incredibly resilient superstar. He has proven that time and time again, but... How much longer 
Blocked from clean. Irish whip into the ropes, into the power slam. And ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end. Unbelievable. I'm going to stop saying it. I'm going to stop saying it. Mr. Clean laughing at how well he's doing. Look at him. You've on the apron. Clean tried to tackle him, but you've got to him first with a big spine buster. Keep your voice down. He's looking a little weary now. You not a man to make fun of lightly, and Clean is paying the price for it. Vicious downright savage club right there. And you Oh my goodness, the strength of you and that wrestling acumen on display. You has him up. Time for the F5. No, Mr. Clean. With an incredibly timely reversal. Sends him into the ropes. And up and over for the back body drop. Is this finally, finally enough? Still no. Still no. You fighting on. And they are toe to toe, just hammering on each other. But Mr. Clean coming out on top of that battle, and finally the big knee. And Clean setting up from the corner. Oh my goodness! Forget about it. Not even you is going to be able to kick out of this one. One, two, three, and Mr. Clean wins a match he wasn't even supposed to be on. Unbelievable. Here is your winner. Mr. Clean, though, with the victory, and we are all going to have to wait a little bit longer to see some Yuv on Yuv action. But in the meantime, Mr. Clean is happy to take the win. A great match, but not the match we were expecting. All right, over to the women's division for a little bit of tag team action. And coming out first. Your women's tag team champions. It is Tonga and Mahler. The following contest is a tag Now team again, match Tonga and Mahler did lose a non-title match the to the WWE Stunners. And so you know, of course, the Stunners are going to be hot on their tails waiting for a title match. But they are not facing the Stunners tonight. They are in a non-title match against a brand new tag team. You'll have to wait and see who they are. Again, the field wide open in the women's division, especially the women's tag division, because so many of those tag teams got uh, disbanded between Season 2 and Season 3. So... A great opportunity for a new... We've seen a lot of new teams form, but none have had the staying power of Tonga and Mahler and the Stunners. Looking to reverse the trend. Coming out first, it's Rachel Warren. Now, Rachel Warren is from Shock, but because the women's tag team belts are... Well, across both brands when she's in a tag team we had to she had to clarify this with the rules committee and she was advised that although if she's in a singles match she has to perform on shock but if she is in a tag team match against the champions then she is allowed to team up cross brand and her partner it is Alexi Knight. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This could be a great tag team. I can definitely see some synergy here. We'll have to see how they do in the ring. Of course, uh, Rachel Warren, a multiple-time women's tag team champion already. So we know what she's capable of doing in a tag team. Alexi Knight, we saw her in a brief tag team with Faria Mohammed. I mean, what do we call the tag team? I am not sure. Let me start the prediction. 
You can let me know who you think is going to win at least. Rachel Warren starting Ladies off against the Mauler. Tag team action is now underway. I mean, the White the Knights. Tag team match is a classic or is that maybe uh, is that maybe uh, not cool? Given uh, Rachel Warren timing. is an albino, yeah, that might be a little insensitive. They have to form one truly exceptional unit, which is definitely easier said than done. Stopping down. The Mauler taking control of the match early. Again, I mean, tough for a new tag team to find synergy, but putting them right into the fire against the champions. An even taller order than that, but... We will see how they do. Rachel Warren now. Putting the boots to the mauler, and now there's the tag. And we're going to see Lexi Knight. The mauler sends her into the corner. Dismantling and the gonna the work corner. on the arm. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. One reversal after another. These two are counter each after minds. counter. Reversals, it's a game of chess in there. I mean, more hitting than a game of chess normally, but you know what I mean. And Alexi trying to drag her to the corner, but again, uh, they're new. They're new. Party 24-7. Listen, I don't I don't I don't hate that name. I mean listen, let's see if they can win a match. Let's see if they can win a match before we start putting them together as a tag team officially. We've had a lot of tag teams form for the first time and the last time because they did not perform well, so let's see how they do first. But so far not too bad. Oh, there's the cheap shot from Mahler, but Lexi unfazed sends Tonga into the ropes. And boom, Luthez press and just grabs that copious hair of Tonga and slams her head into the mat. DDT to boots. And she is wisely going to tag in Rachel Warren. Warren missed on the single leg drop kick. But right back to work. Irish whip. Hip toss, cartwheel, drop kick. Drop kick to finish. Mahler desperately calling for a tag, and she gets it. Locks up with Warren and sends her immediately to the apron. And then hot shots are all the way to the outside. Mahler now coming over to have words with Lexi Knight, and by words, I mean she's hot shotting her to the outside as well. Mahler, I don't think, spotted. Rachel Warren coming back into the ring, caught her last minute. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio. And they and lock up, and the Mahler committing the cardinal mistake of tag team wrestling. Listen, no excuse for Tonga and Mahler to be doing that. Reverses the Irish whip, and once again, Rachel Warren hot shot it to the outside. Uh, Mahler not done yet. She is up on the top rope, changed her mind. About dive. That's more Tonga's expertise than Mahler. They lock up Rachel Warren. Once again, reversed on the Irish whip. The Mahler has really had Rachel Warren's number so far. Oh my god, David, you're not kidding. Last year, the Irish whips were embarrassing. Embarrassing. There's the pin from Rachel Warren. Gets a two count. That is all. She's still as determined as ever. And she gets the tag. Heads to her corner to tag in her partner. And Irish whip by Lexi. And the big drop kick. She makes the tag. Hot tag to Tonga and Lexi right up in her face. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Tonga sends her to the corner and tosses her to the middle of the ring. I do not see this match going on. Longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something and, like that. And uh, Irish whip by Tonga. Nice takedown and takes a little walk along the spine of Lexi Knight. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. And once again, dragging your opponent to the corner fails. And Lexi Knight. Able to take advantage. Irish whip. And another big drop kick. I don't know if we've seen this many Irish whips in a match in a long, long time. 
tilt a whirl arm, or sorry, a wheelbarrow arm drag by Tonga. Sends her into the corner, and there's the counter. Reversal, and oh my god, a vicious knife edge chop. No, no, that is a choice. Tonga has never worn shoes in the ring. I mean, I'm not saying ever in her life. I'm saying her choice is to go barefoot in the ring. There, we've had a couple, we've had a lot of people who have gone barefoot in the ring. Akira Katsuyori also barefoot in the ring. The great Gorilla Mondo was barefoot in the ring. Jay Sakamoto, barefoot. And a kick out from Alexi Knight. And Tonga tagged back in. And Tonga saying, hey, hey, hey. Don't attack, and then out of nowhere, look at this. Wheelbarrow arm drag. Tonga playing a little possum there. Again, this is why they are the most hated tag team in women's wrestling. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Lexi drops her face first into the mat, though, and going for the pin. She still fights out Only got the one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. And Lexi decides, I think wisely, to tag in Rachel Warren. Running clothesline. Big clothesline from Warren. Has her up and over for the power slam. Nicely done. And oh my goodness, boom, there's that temple punch. Is that going to be enough? We will not know because Mahler came in to break up the pin. That's probably a smart move by Mahler. We have seen that Temple Punch put down a number of women in the division. Good defense. Close line from Lexi. She's taking no chances. Turns and takes a swing at the Mahler and another. Tonga rolls to the outside for a quick break. Heads back in now. And Lexi locks into submission. The guillotine. Is she going to make the champ tap? No, Tonga manages to punch her out of it. Lexi top rope trying to keep a close eye on... Oh my goodness. What was that maneuver? Oh, I thought she had it. That maneuver, I think, defied physics. I think it might have been a Phoenix Flash, but I'm not even sure. Kick to the head by Rachel Warren, but Tonga trying to turn the tables here. A rant about the character I dislike in Star Trek the most. Oh my goodness, that's a loaded question in and of itself. I mean, the easy answer is Wesley Crusher, obviously, but I feel like we could probably come up with something a little better. And Tonga finally going back to her corner for the tag after almost being beaten by Lexi Knight. There's the clothesline from Rachel Warren. Tonga took a shot but missed. There's the tag. Alexi Knight. Irish whip, another big drop kick. It's a matter of wills now as these women Mahler have back in the ring. In this match. No inch has been given. No and off the rope. And a penalty kick to the face. And then a stomp to the midsection. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough to put away Lexi? It is not. It is not. And there's the submission, but Lexi out of that one in no time. Vicious kicks to the midsection, and now Mahler setting up Lexi for something, but wisely managed to get the hot tag instead. Rachel Warren in the ring. Has Mahler on the ropes, and what is she setting up for here? On the, I'm not sure what Rachel Warren was doing there. Setting up for something. Referee takes another bump. This referee is having a rough night. 
Drop kick to the back from Warren. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're gonna Waller trying to fight back here. Targets the gut to end the offense. And more vicious kicks from the Mauler. She's got to be thinking tag, and that is exactly what she's going to do. Tonga. Back in the ring, and oh, little backflip knee drop. But Rachel Warren fighting back. Crowd going wild. They would love nothing more than to see this new team beat the champs. And Warren, cardinal mistake of tag team wrestling committed again. And she is paying the price. On her feet, but for how long? Tonga off the ropes. Drop kick to the side of the head. Lexi Knight desperately calling for the tag. Off the ropes and another drop kick to the head. And Rachel Warren can only stagger to the corner as Mahler is tagged in. And Mahler just absolutely raining the blows down on top of her in the corner. And now stomping her into the dirt. Hooks the leg. That's got to be it. It probably was, which is why Lexi Knight decided to come in and save her partner. But if Rachel doesn't get the tag soon, it could be curtains for this new tag team. Oh, my goodness. What a reversal from Warren. Sends her into the corner, and then that leaping kick to the face. Series of elbows, look at it. Create separation, she does so. And again, the vicious kicks of Mahler. Surely this must be it. One, two, three, and that is it. A great effort by Lexi Knight and Rachel Warren, and I could definitely see them as a tag team going forward. We'll have to see if they're going to continue. But listen, a tall order in your first match to go up against the champs. And Tonga and Mahler come out victorious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a fatal four-way. Falls count anywhere elimination match. You son of a bitch. Two months already, Smith. There you go, two months. Two months, way to go. Much appreciated, Nico. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. Nico, of course, killing it on shock. Killing it on shock. That close to being a case holder on the weekend. Pee Wee Nguyen. The pride of Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Coming out first. In this fatal four way falls count anywhere elimination yeah, match. Say that 10 talking. times fast. And out next. The one, the only, LJ Novak. And his opponents, first from Zagreb, Croatia, playing in at 100. Uh, making his way down the ramp. Well, I mean, Nico, I, I, I gotta say, I think that you matched up with Elijah pretty well, but I feel like Zinda felt a little outmatched against Evelyn Precious. So I think that was kind of bad luck of the draw for you uh, at the PLE. But still killing it anyway. LJ Novak looks energized and ready at the very least for this match. The WWE Universe just exploded. And, and next up, look out. Of the great Ossington. I mean, again, we talked earlier about the punching power of the KO Queen, Sonya Gray, but look at this beast. Look at this beast. His finishing uppercut will knock you into the front row. 
Not yet, Nico. That is a uh, that's my next big project. Is Tron's an intro is the next big uh, project for me? His career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. I'm just happy that I finally was able to figure Tron's out. I thought I was never going to do it, and I did. So I'm proud of myself. <laughs> we'll see if I screw it up later, but for now, I'm very proud of myself. Even and though I just followed exacting comes. instructions from RK, and so it made it very easy, but still. And last, but absolutely not least, your Twitch champion, William the Hammer Styles. Again, the Twitch championship not on the line, but he will have to defend that next week. For those who are new and just joining and don't understand the Twitch Championship, Twitch Championship is available only to uh, superstars from community members, but it has to be defeated, uh, defended rather, every two weeks. And the opponent is chosen by a spin of the Rando Lando Wheel of Destiny. You never know who it is going to bestow its favor upon. Not that it's done anybody any good lately because William Styles has been taking on everybody and beating them. And here we go. Let me set up the... Or I set up the prediction. Let me... Did I, oh, I didn't set up the prediction. Never mind. Okay, we'll set up the prediction. <laughs> I don't think I'm fully recovered from the PLE, the ladies and gentlemen, so match, the enjoy this match while I set up the prediction. The sheer physical punishment these two are willing to put themselves through just to settle this thing between them, it's something that few people can really understand. And there's the prediction. There we go. Now you can let me know who you think is going to come out on top here. Again, it's an elimination match. Falls count anywhere. Well, I mean, David, the thing about it is that the wheel resets every uh, at the start of every season. And then as people are chosen by the wheel for the Twitch Championship, they are taken off the wheel. So once you hit the uh, beginning of Season 3, everybody's back on the wheel. Every single community member that's... Tons and tons, dozens and dozens of superstars on the wheel, so the odds get slimmer and slimmer. Ossington's got a table out there. Pee Wee gets to him before he has a chance to use it. William Styles and LJ Novak going at it inside the ring. And Novak with a big boot to the side of the head of William Styles. And now choking him out over the top rope. The referee, get in there. Come on the now. Referee just no standing there doing nothing. I mean, I guess it's a no... It's a, I, don't, I think it's a no disqualification in fairness. In fairness to the referee, but still. Still, unquote. Nice monkey flip there from Styles. Pee Wee and Great Ossington just slugging it out on the outside. Styles sent into the corner by LJ. LJ swinging at ghosts. But Styles connects. This is uh, season three. Season three. We just finished our 200th episode. A couple. Of, this, is, this is episode 202. So big milestones for the RLWF. Next milestone is going to be 2,000 matches. We still got a ways to go. Ossington back in the ring now, and ejects the hammer forcefully. And now, oh, using that punching power to just hammer the ribs of LJ Novak. Styles and Pee Wee with the Russian leg sweep on Ossington. And uh, Pee Wee back in. Novak tries to hit him but misses. Here comes Styles and Novak with a big combination on the hammer. Pee Wee, though, sends him out to the apron. Absolute chaos. Cuts off their offense. LJ is going out to uh, go after Pee Wee Nguyen. Again, falls count anywhere. There's the pin from Styles. Ooh, thought he almost had him there. 
Novak also was going for the pin on Peely. Novak, oh! With the recoil. Hooks the leg again. Two count only. Peewee gets the shoulder up. Styles whipped hard into the corner there from Ossington. And uh, Novak attacking Ossington from behind. And uh, as thanks for that, Styles immediately attacks him. Here comes Ossington with a chair. Spinebuster on Novak as Ossington throws a chair at Pee Wee. Two count on Novak. In case you haven't seen the stats page, just drop the link in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, link is in the description. And Ossington gets the three count on Pee Wee, and there is your first elimination. Ossington back in the ring and now laying in those punches on Styles. And oh, my God, the clothesline. And look at this little fancy footwork on Novak goes to the pin. Two count only. Novak gets that shoulder up. Novak, of course, that big win last week in the six man elimination chamber. Looking to keep the hot streak going. Oh, Styles with the kendo stick. I think Novak and Styles are realizing that they are going to need to take out Ossington here. Outside of the ring now. Novak going it's after Styles stomps on the back of the ankle. Ouch! Ouch! Ladies and gentlemen, that's the only way to describe it. Novak fishing around under the ring. He's got a baseball bat. That has got to be bad news. Oof. Blocked Ossington right in the face. Ossington has Novak up and boom. Slammed like a freight train into that steel barricade. There's the leg. Two count only. Novak able to kick out again. Yeah, I never have any of my stuff optimized for Android, I, uh, for uh, iPhone, because I don't, I don't own an iPhone. I don't own any Apple products, so I never know what's good there. <laughs> and Styles able to manage to get his way out of that submission hold. Ossington sent back in. Styles in after him. Here comes LJ as well. How's that for a count? And Ossington. Chop block on Styles. Sent into the corner and the big uppercut sends the big man to the floor. LJ thinks he has him, but he does not. And Novak. Boom. That might be it for Styles. No, Styles gets the shoulder up. You son of a bitch. Hey, there's the sub from Shaminigans. Thank you very, very much. Much appreciated, sir. Pin from Ossington does not go anywhere. Shaminigans, if you'd like to get your own wrestler, join the Discord. And uh, let us know uh, what you want to do. We would be happy to have you involved, sir. Uh, you can hit exclamation mark Discord, but I'm not sure if that link still works. But you can try and see. If not, I'll get you a good one. Ossington once again just pummeling Novak with those body shots. Yeah, I'm not sure if that link's going to work, but give it a try. <laughs> Ossington to the apron. Monkey flip from Styles. Setting him up, got the head scissors on, sharp elbow. And another monkey flip. Now, I think at this point, Styles is just kissing my ass at this point. He knows I love a monkey flip. He's just showing off at this point. And I'm here for it. Oh! 
Wow, vicious belly to belly from Ossington. Piercing. And oh, wow, forearm to the face. And Ossington is not done. Let's rip with the kendo stick, breaks it right over the head of Novak. Can't miss action taking. Drags him to the corner, splits him open on the turnbuckle. They do not want to miss a second of the action. And there's the body slam, just ignoring Styles. Styles has been hitting him, but finally he can ignore it no longer. Perfect, excellent. Drop face first off the turnbuckle. Novak attacks from behind, and now, oh, inverted power slam from Styles. What an incredible match. Double underhook suplex from the Sultan of the Suplex, hooks the leg. And LJ Novak still refusing to lay down for the three. Give the man credit. Styles going to work on Ossington. Getting some fundamentals in here. Ossington rolls out. And Styles trying to find a way to put him away, put away Novak. But Novak with the sneaky pin on that reversal. And, and now Styles reverses the reversal. Oh. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. What a performance put in here from all of these performers. This is incredible. Ossington back in the ring. Styles with the big clothesline. Is that finally, finally enough? It is LJ Novak. I mean, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at him, and finally, finally, Styles able to get the pin. And now it is down to him and the great Ossington, and Ossington just got spine busted. The Styles Buster. I believe Jeremiah called it. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. And Ossington sent into the corner. Look at this. Going and Styles is going to work on that arm. giant that arm of the great Ossington. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this going. And smashed in the face with the chair. Stop in the leg. What is it going to take? to pin the great Ossington. Sent into the corner again. No, reversed into a shoulder tackle. The sound of this crowd, crowd going wild. They love he William the Hammer Styles, and as they should. Head first into the turnbuckle. He's got him up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let, surely not, ladies and gentlemen. Surely not. William the Hammer Styles superplexes. The great Ossington. Ossington has the presence of mind to roll out of a ring, but what a maneuver. Styles, did you ever show up on time? How on earth did Ossington kick out? How is that even possible? What's he going to do here? DDT on the foot. Foot DDT. His offense is second to none at times like this. And Styles has him up at no. Counter there by Ossington shifted that great weight. Ossington head first into the apron. Styles pumped up, but surely must be wondering what more he has to do to get the three count against the great Ossington. Toss him back into the ring. We're going to find out. Counter by Oz. They lock up Styles. Double underhook suplex. And one, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, never has there been a more hard earned victory than that one. William the Hammer Styles showing why he's the Twitch champion and why he's stayed the, the Twitch champion. 
He's going to be defending his belt next week, but victorious here tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring, the unstoppable. Marcella Drosi, your victory champion once again. And that belt has never left her waist for very long. And I expect it is going to stay there for quite some time again. As Marcella Drosi proving that she is unstoppable. Now, again, that said... A little bit of just uh, a little bit of revenge uh, by Zinda, whom Marcella took the belt from. They squared off again at the PLE, and Zinda won the match to get into the final. But unfortunately, was not successful. And as mentioned, Elijah George and Evelyn Precious won those front of the line cases. Second, second front of the line case by Elijah George. He has now won two thirds of all front of line cases in history. And squaring off against Marcella. Now we saw these two square off at the PLE in that fatal four-way match. Again, both lost to Zinda in that match, but the Butcher making her way down for this non-title match against the victory champion. Again, swinging a, I cannot stress this enough, I mean, I know I say this every time, but I, it really is stunning every single time. An actual, real, live chainsaw that she is swinging around next to children in the audience. I, I, I mean, I, how is this allowed? How has no one been killed yet? That's close enough. I'll still I'll still announce you properly. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, let me start the prediction. You can let me know who you think is going to win the match. Getting things underway for this match. While well, the title isn't up for grabs, there could be real championship. Butcher flies in with a tackle early and another one. Made clear that they are gunning for the champ. And tonight, again, I mean, be their moment to strike. They definitely have something to prove here. Byron. The butcher obviously learning lessons. From watching Marcella, she's got to keep no up, than a reigning champion. keep it up early and consistently. Because if you give Marcella an inch, she's going to take a mile. Actually, Hannibal and and uh, the Butcher were a team in season two. They're a part of a stable with Carter Ford called Slaughterhouse. Uh, it is unclear with the Carter Ford losing his contract. Uh, Slaughterhouse disbanded, but uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not impossible that they might revive Slaughterhouse at some point. We'll have to wait and see. So far, not yet, but there is that possibility. No way. And oh, Marcella leaps through the ropes, but nobody home. More often than not, gonna provide such a result. That was an example of good to see all the custom signs I spent so much time creating and putting into the game are getting good use with everybody holding up the exact same sign. Thank you, 2K. Thank you for that, by the way. And pop up. Oh, invert power bomb. Counter from the butcher. They lock up. Shoulder block. Off the ropes. And Marcella just shrugged off that drop kick from the butcher. Unbelievable. Reversed into the corner by Marcella. And Marcella just absolutely hammering away on the butcher. But there's the counter. Again, if you want to get into a violent free for all, she's trying. The Butcher more than willing to do so. Oh, 
And the Butcher tosses Marcella to the outside, but she's not finished off the ropes and over the top. A great maneuver there from the Butcher. Yeah, I mean, you have to get creative with the names. I mean, literally, no game has norm. I mean, it's, it's not a... I mean, it's not a name that a real person should have, really. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that with the... Uh, the addition of the Norm character in Fallout the TV series, that the next Fallout game at least will have Norm. Big leg drop. They're at a six count. The Butcher's going to have to get back inside that ring. Maybe hoping for a, uh, a count out victory here. Oh my god! Dropped their face first to the mat. We might have a double count out here. There's the nine count. Put your heads in. Marcella just gets in ahead of the count. And the Butcher. Into the spine buster. Hooks the leg. Are we going to see a victory from the Butcher here? Oh, two and a half. The Butcher cannot believe it. So close. And yeah, that is that is actually my real name. I keep things simple. <laughs> also, pet peeve for young people on the internet. Uh, just pick one name and use it for everything. Stop uh, having different names. I have to keep track of who's who on here and in all the different things. It's very annoying. I'm old and can't do these things. Nice counter from the butcher into the big knee. Marcella rolls out of the ring. Add to the drama, Baron Max is up from his nap and ready to destroy the stream. Jawbreaker reversal from Marcella. She's sent back in under the ropes. Made her pay for her mistake. And Springboard misses. Loaded right over top of the Butcher. How on earth is there a game without Jones in it? You would think if there's going to be a name besides Smith that you're going to have in a game, it's going to be Jones. There's the cover by Marcella after the power bomb. Only got the one. This is a great match. The Butcher hanging in there. But Marcella coming back here now. Into the spine buster. And now, the heel lock. Marcella going for a submission hold. Is she going to make the butcher tap? No, let's go of it before she can. Hammerlock wrenched in. Damn it to the arm. And just like that, Marcella right back in control of the match. It's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Butcher crawls to the corner and not a safe place to be when Drosy is around. But there's the counter. Irish whip. And again, the drop kick at Marcella just completely no sells. I mean, how do you take a drop kick from the Butcher and just be completely unfazed? Unbelievable. Marcella in the corner, and the Butcher puts a boot oh, a into her neck. But here's Marcella. Has her above her head, and this could be the end. Oh! Into the power slam, hooks the leg. And one, two, three, just like that. Despite a valiant effort from the Butcher, in the end, Marcella Drossi remains Here's unstoppable. The indestructible Marcella Drossi. I mean, listen, you were talking match. earlier, uh, taking a look at the stats page, as to who, which individual superstar has the best record. Uh, go take a look at Marcella Drossi. Like All right.
If it's not the best, it's definitely up there, that's for sure. An incredible superstar, an incredible victory. Elijah George coming out for his match against Zeke, and who is that? He's got a brotherhood patch. Ladies and gentlemen, that, that I think was Lex Cassidy. Zeke versus Elijah George, that was Lex Cassidy. He dyed his hair, but it, I very clearly saw Messiah on the pants, and I also saw a brotherhood logo. What is going on? Lex Cassidy has joined the Brotherhood, apparently. I did not see that one coming. And Zeke putting the new recruit to good use to get, an, uh, uh, to get a, a leg up on this match here against Elijah. I didn't even get a chance to set up the, uh, the, the prediction. This is a non-title match, but if Zeke wins this match, he gets a title shot. So no wonder he is pulling out all the stops, including a little bit of dirty pool to try and get an advantage. Unbelievable! I almost didn't recognize Cassidy because he dyed his hair. He was normally a blonde, but I saw on his—I saw uh, on his. Unless we have another double situation, if we have another youth situation, I'm quitting the RLWF forever. We have multiples of multiples. This is too much. But I suspect that actually was Lex Cassidy. Joining the Brotherhood. Unbelievable. Zeke putting the elbows to the face of Elijah George, your front of the line case holder and global champion. Zeke has already beaten Elijah George in a non title match and is looking for an opportunity to get his global championship back. He's been quickly taking control here. This is where the rubber meets the road. Can he keep it going? And with that attack. At the beginning of the match, Zeke is like in control on the top rope question. now. Elijah doesn't look, he looks like he might be hurt. I could be wrong. There's the diving shoulder tackle from the top rope. I, I may be reading into it, but it almost looks like he's hurt. I think it's more than just he's got an advantage in this match. There's the discus punch. Slingshot and the clothesline. He's falling victim here to a charge of attack. Zeke putting on a clinic here against Elijah George. Into the corner, follows him in, but no. Elijah gets the feet up. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. And a counter from Zeke. Tossing Elijah aside. And now stomping. On the arm, and again. Oh, man, that'll bend your arm. Zeke in total control of this match. Although not for the best of reasons. Elijah rolls out. Zeke is not going to give him any rest here. Welcome back, Jeremiah. Uh-oh. Blow to the abdomen. Gets them out of that. And Elijah slams him head first into the apron. Zeke fighting back. Oh, the headbutt. He's just getting beaten at all fronts here. Tried to toss him into the ring post, but couldn't not enough room to get the, the leverage there. Big boot to the face. I think we're at a five or a six count. I'm not really sure, but. Matters not as Zeke is tossed back in from Elijah. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not. And once again, Zeke on the attack. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars. And oh no, ladies and gentlemen, heavens to hell! The pin and the referee good eye called the rope break. An incredibly lucky break there for Elijah George, but he may not be feeling so lucky right now as he's gonna take another one. One, two, three, and Zeke gets his title match. Unbelievable. Here is your winner, 
I mean, again, a little easier when you attack your opponent before the match. The Brotherhood. The Brotherhood have a new recruit in Lex Cassidy, and he is already paying dividends for the team. This is gonna be good. All right, a little tag team action. And out first, your champions. Here on Mayhem, it is Los Conquistadores. Now, again, these guys are going to be looking over their shoulders because the cartel has beaten them twice. But I have been advised, ladies and gentlemen, a report from the back that after the attack by Zeke, Carlito has suffered a back injury from that choke slam. I mean, coming on, on the heels of the beating he took from Takuma. And so when that match between the cartel and Los Conquistadores is going to happen up in the air at this point. Again, if that was the intention of Zeke, I'm not sure. As far as we're aware, I mean, we already saw Lex Cassidy has joined the Brotherhood, but I don't see any patches here. So I don't know what is going on, what the motivation was, but now we are going to have to wait and see what happens with the cartel. Again, they've beaten them twice, and so they have absolutely earned a title shot. Shenanigans, ladies and gentlemen, shenanigans. And uh, we are hoping, uh, we are wishing a speedy recovery for the great Carlito Munoz. But their opponents tonight, another great tag team. There they are, armed and dangerous. The Puerto Rican assassin, Freddy Gonzalez. And Big Daddy Remy Haynes. And their opponents. Uh, looking to make waves here against the champions. A great opportunity for these two. We will have to see how they fare. Again, always a tough fight against Los Conquistadores, but maybe maybe after a couple of losses to the cartel, there's some chinks in the armor. Maybe people are kind of seeing, uh, you know, maybe they're kind of figuring out these guys. Because, again, these guys came in out of nowhere. Complete raw rookies, straight to championship. So... It's uh, been a learning curve for everyone in the tag team division, trying to kind of figure these guys out. Watch the tape, as it were. But there you go, armed and dangerous. Look ready to go. Let me start the prediction. And you can let me know. Who you think is going to win? Remy Haynes versus Conquistador number two. Again, we saw Conquistador two at the PLE as part of that front of the line case match, but he was not victorious. Uh, I can I can try and do that for you, Dan. Remind me, because I'm going to forget 100%, but I can try and do that for you, yes. Conquistador 2 into the corner and followed up with a big clothesline, and Remy Haynes is going to tag in Freddy. Freddy, good timing, sir. Good timing. Freddy being dragged to the corner, but no dice. Elbows his way out of that situation. Springboard. What a maneuver and the kip up. Freddy just showing off at this point. Oof. One count only. Oof. Scrapes the face. Mask or no mask, that's going to hurt. Again, Freddy Gonzalez, no stranger to a bit of dirty pool. Big dropkick, drop Conquistador 2 trying to get to the corner, but Freddy not allowing it. Finally, Conquistador 2 gets a little bit of space. And is going to try and drag Freddy to the corner again. And once again, cardinal rule of... What is going on with the tag teams? Does, 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 am I just talking into the void? Is no one listening to me here? Unbelievable. Freddy... Tagging in Remy. 
and they are dominating the Conquistadors so far. The champion's looking a little fallible. These last few weeks, and Arms of Dangerous looking to take advantage. Remy heads out of the ring against Conquistador 2 and flattens him. Running STO right into the concrete floor. And Remy sends him head first into the ring post. Conquistador 2 taking an absolute shellacking at the hands of Armed and Dangerous here. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. What a lethal combination there. And Conquistador 2, though, trying to fight back. There's the big knee. Remy tossed aside as Conquistador 2 rolls back into the ring. Here comes Remy. They're going to lock up. And Remy with a power bomb. Nicely done. There's the pin. Only a one count. count. Only a one count. That to hold him down. Uh, after this, I think we have two left or one? One more after this. The main event is after this. Big drop kick from Freddy as he's tagged into the ring, but hot tag made to Conquistador 1. Freddy comes all the way around, but Conquistador 1 gets to him first. What is Conquistador 1 doing? I mean, that was the... That was possibly the worst springboard attack I've ever seen from Conquistador 1. Big elbow from Freddy. Oh, and the uppercut. He rolls out of the ring and Freddy over the top for the cross body. And the suplex, but he is not done. We're going to see a little three amigos onto the concrete. Bad news for Conquistador number one. Six count, and Freddy flattens him with the clothesline. He's got to get back in the ring, maybe hoping for a countout victory here. Seven count, and Freddy waiting. Oh, takes no chances. Takes out Conquistador 2. And Freddy, oh my goodness, drives him into the mat. The Conquistador is looking very fallible here. There's the pin, but only the one count still. Freddy once again. Taking the opportunity to strike Conquistador 2. And Remy, oh! Going for a clothesline, but Conquistador 1 just that little bit clo uh, faster, rather. Blocked from Remy. Shot to the midsection. And the counter. Conquistador 1 finally showing some life here. Has him up. And boom. Oh, my goodness. The Vertebreaker. Two count only. Remy gets the shoulder up. And Conquistador 1 finally tags in his partner. Remy grabs Conquistador 2 as he was running for the ropes. And he is also going to tag in his partner. This is a very dangerous situation now. I don't think and any of these are going Freddy to has him up, quit at this point. but no, that. going for the Too power bomb. But a nice reversal from Conquistador 2. Irish whip into the ropes. And a block from Freddy. Springboard into the boot to the head. There's the pin. Only a one count. Man, oh man. Armed and dangerous looking sharp tonight. And oof. Vicious suplex from Freddy, and he's going to tag in Remy Haynes. Some nice crisp tags here from Armed and Dangerous. Conquistador 2 fights his way out of the corner. Irish whip on Remy. Missed on the chop. Caught him with the clothesline. 
And Remy returns the favor. Off the ropes and the splash. And now Remy attacking the knee. And Conquistador 2 in some trouble now. Trying to get a little separation there. He's got to be thinking tag at some point here. Easier said than done. As Remy up and oh my goodness. Wow, what a power bomb. Another big combination has Remy reeling. Sends him into the corner. And here we go, a little tag team action. Conquistador 1 going top. There's the backbreaker. And launched like a rocket into Remy Haynes. <laughs> Remy has him up. No. Counter from Conquistador 1. I am ignoring all the Power Ranger comments. Yes. These are your champions. Show a little respect, sir. Show a little respect in the chat for the champions. I mean, I swear to God, by the power of Zordon, I'll start handing out tanks. Oh my goodness! Conquistador 2 went for the spin kick on Freddy, missed, and clocked to the referee. Man, oh man. Wow, this referee is taking some serious bumps. He, this may be the last we see of this referee. Finally, he's getting to his feet just in time for the pin. But Conquistador 1 comes in to break it up. Man, oh man. Tagged into the action. Freddy tags in Remy. What a tag match. Remy misses on the stomp, but Conquistador nails the kick to the face. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Remy Don't dragged to the corner, but the fighting his way out. Your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And Remy, Remy trying the same thing and failing in the same way. Springboard. Oh, vicious forearm. And now look at this. Conquistador 2. Having a little fun at Remy Haynes' expense, and Big Daddy doesn't like it. Has him up, and no counter from Conquistador 2. And oh, the jumping TKO. Freddy's going to have to come in and break this one up, and he does. Remy wisely rolls out for a little bit of a rest, but Conquistador right out after him. And drops him with the short lariat. Just take a look at the WWE Universe. They know there is no better place to be than right here, right now. And now he's taking control. He can't allow himself to let up now. And Conquistador 2. Oh, I thought he was going to send it back in the ring, but no dice. Popped up. No way. Both of these superstars in need of attack. Oh, no. Tombstone pile driver onto the concrete floor from Remy Haynes. There's an eight count. Remy slides in. Tackles Conquistador one. There's a nine. Armed and Dangerous are going to win this by countout. And just like that, Los Conquistadors once again. Being defeated this time by Armed and Dangerous. And now, listen, this is a great opportunity for Armed and Dangerous because, unfortunately, as we found out, uh, Carlito uh, injured after that attack by Zeke. And so it's possible that they might be able to jump the line. I'm not sure what we do in this situation. We're going to have to wait and see because clearly the cartel has earned a title shot. But if they're not, really, if they're not able to go... That opportunity may go to Armed and Dangerous. Who knows? We're going to have to wait and see. All right, announcer in the ring. And is for the All-Star Championship. All-Star Championship. 
the nephew finally learned how to say All-Star Championship. It only took three seasons, ladies and gentlemen. And the challenger for the All-Star Championship, the one, the only. 110% effort, 0% body fat, Stone Justice making his way to the ring. Now, Stone Justice won that big 30-man match, the gauntlet match, at the PLE, and that means that he gets a title Here shot go, against title Smash Sanchez. Now, now, he had the, the option of switching brands instead, but in Stone Justice right more interested in the belt. Than he is a change in scenery. Listen, we don't talk about the trim, all right? Stone Justice. 50% hairline, 0% body fat. I would gladly take that hair for that body. Any, any day, any day of the week. If there are any genies in the off, in the uh, in the audience, I will take that deal. But listen, Stone Justice has to face uh, this man. Smash Sanchez, your all-star champion. Look at this absolute beast making his way to the ring. Now, these two fought each other a couple of weeks ago in a non-title match. As a reminder, that Smash the Sanchez won. Match, and the champ is certainly going to have an uphill battle. So we will sure. see whether Stone Justice has uh, learned any new tricks. Between then and now, to prove his wrong. again, never an easy match. Again, I mean, the man is an absolute beast. Look at that. I mean, I think he somehow got bigger between season two and season three. I didn't think it was possible. But an incredible opportunity from Stone just for Stone Justice and well earned. Let me start the prediction. You can let me know if you think he has what it takes to get that All-Star Championship belt off of Smash Sanchez. I mean, again, Stone Justice. No slouch in the fitness department himself. I think that, uh, you know, this is bulking up and Stone Justice is leaning out. Okay? Smash Sanchez. As intense as always. With this championship title in play, you can expect this match to Referee be Referee cautiously special. takes the belt from Smash Sanchez. The best way to describe it. Let Stone Justice have a look. Now, Stone Justice, of course, has had his own struggles. Here in the RLWF. And looking. But again, uh, both of these men, former men's champions. So a lot of talent there in the ring. And look at this. Stone Justice trying to win it immediately. Oh, that would have been amazing. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Stone Justice. Ready to go. Coming out, firing on all cylinders. Just pounding away on Stone Justice. Or on uh, Smash Sanchez, rather. Stone Justice winning in the final He's after that 30. Dangerous with his offense thus far. Uh, I think that, I believe the final four of that 30 man was uh, the wild ones, Sharknado and Maz of Oz. Stone Justice and FTN Cole. And Stone Justice hung in there and hit the jackhammer on Sharknado for the win and got himself a title shot. And this one might be headed ringside. At ringside, again, countouts will not win you the belt, so Sma uh, Stone Justice needs to get back inside that ring. And reverses Sanchez into the corner, drops the big leg drop. Swinging 
swinging neck breaker. There's the six count. There's the seven. Stone Justice has got to get him back in that inside that ring. That's exactly what he's trying to do. We might have a count out. Is Stone Justice going to bottle this? There's the nine. And they both slide. Oh, my goodness. I thought Stone Justice is never going to live this down if he bottles this one. And the big choke bomb by Smash Sanchez. What's the point total up to these days, Jeremiah? Quest for 2K, 200K. Smash Sanchez with the elbows to the midsection and flattens him. Like getting hit by a tree trunk. Hey! A raid from Crazy Coach. Welcome in, CCU. Much appreciated, Coach. Thank you so much. Well, everybody, you came in at the perfect time. I'm Norm. This is the RLWF. And you are here for a title match. The champion in white, Smash Sanchez. Versus the challenger, Stone Justice, in the blue trunks. In the main event of tonight's card. Thank you very, very much for the raid. How was the uh, how was the stream, Coach? Denied with an elbow. Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, Raiders. There's the lung blower. Goes to the pin. Oh, no. oh! Does not AC get it. Payne picked up Earl. And there you go in the corner. You can see Crazy Coach, of course, runs the CCU. This match should be over. Earl, no. Bangle Jim's doing this for Earl now. Submission hold here. One, two. And look at the strength of Smash Sanchez. Towers his way right out of it. Flying cross body. Excellent. Great to hear it, Crazy Coach. Great to hear it. I miss Mr. Graves. I got to bring him back in time for bikini season. Oh, no. The Sanchez smash is Stone Justice's quest for a title over already. Two count only. Stone Justice hanging in there. We will bring him back. We'll get him back in there. Mr. Graves was too great to not bring back. The fans going wild as Stone Justice hits the spine buster. On Smash Sanchez, hooks the leg. Are we going to see a new champion? Oh. Count only. But Stone Justice right back to work. Smash Sanchez just lays that forearm right across the chest of Stone Justice. Thank you, coach. Thank you, coach. I tried. I tried. We're just coming off. We had a we had a, a, a PLE on the weekend. Available on YouTube. And uh, now all the repercussions from the PLE are coming to a head, including Stone Justice getting a title match. Tried for the jackhammer, but reversed by Smash Sanchez. Stone Justice absolutely snake bit in this match so far, but still refusing to give up. Irish whip and the big knee. Right to the midsection. The champ's taking an immense amount of damage. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious. Stone Justice has him on his feet. Trying again for the jackhammer. No, suplex. Thought he was going for the jackhammer. I got too excited. I got a little too excited, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. If you are a fan of wrestling and of Excel spreadsheets, click that link to see the entire history of the RLWF. Every superstar, every show, every championship, every belt, everything. All in one obsessively entered <laughs> Excel sheet. <laughs> and Stone Justice tosses Smash Sanchez back into the ring. Hits him with the clothesline. There's the pin. One. 
two. Oh. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Stone Justice just unable to get that three count Ooh, against kick. Sanchez. Oh, insulting. He split yeah, him open with that last boot really to the head, more. but yeah, it looks like he's offloading all you can't angle. bleed your way into a pin, the unfortunately. Stone Justice setting him up. If he hits the jackhammer, this match is over. Has him up. up and jackhammer. Jackhammer. New All-Star Champion. One, two, three, just like that. And Stone Justice makes the most of winning that 30-man gauntlet eliminator at the PLE. And here is your new All-Star Champion, Stone Justice. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you can make fun of that hair all you like, all right? 50% hairline, 0% body fat, 100% champion, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, the 30-man eliminator, we'll get to it, I'll tell you in a second, coach. But there you go, you're champion. Stone Justice.